Hey Scooby. Hey Scooby, you ready to make a video? You ready to make a video? You are. I have a preform here that looks pretty good already as it is, but I'm going to try to thin it down some. And I'm going to try using this flat copper bar. So, um, first thing I need to do is bevel, bevel this. It's got a pretty sharp edge on it. So I'm going to bevel down. Oops. There was a crack in that rock. There was a flaw in this stone before I got started there. I'll go ahead and try to thin this piece on down. Looks like Buffalo River Church. Got a sloped edge over here to hit on. I use this flat bar. heavily grind and round this edge and try to drive off a thinning flake down here. I'm going to try to drive off two. Right there and then move over a little bit. Nice. getting really thin. I'm going to try to drive off a set of flakes right here. That was perfect. This thing is thin through here, a little thickness right here. So, looks like I'll be able to do both sides a little bit. And level the edge a little bit. Do a little grinding. Make sure that edge is rounded. I have a big flake right here.
Well, let's see. You got one more opportunity right here. Bevel down this head just a little bit. There's a thickness right here next to this square edge, but I'm going to take that off with uh, pressure. I used a copper pressure flaker to remove the square edge, uh, but I'm going to use an antler pressure flaker to drive long flakes. So I've got a antler pressure flaker here, and. Uh, I'm just going to spend a few minutes using this and see where I am. That first pressure flake went all the way across the face nearly. On this face, I nearly have pressure scars all the way across the blade everywhere. And over here, you can still see some percussion flakes. So after pressure flaking, I got a pretty nice point here. It's very thin. Just uh, testing that flat bar for thinning. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing.